Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, everyone. Great to welcome you in our SAP User Group's YouTube stream. My name is Larissa Brinkman from the SAP Global User Groups Organization, and I'm your host for today. I would like to welcome you today to the session with the topic, Get Notified in SAP for Me about Cloud Service or outages. The cloud service availability notifications application in SAP for me makes it easy to add, customize, and manage subscriptions to cloud availability notifications. Our speaker will lead you through the presentation and demo. And uh, this will be Natalie Pardini, who is customer journey product manager at SAP. Before handing over to Natalie, let me share a few housekeeping rules. We kindly ask you to post your questions via live chat and we will answer them at the end of the presentation. The additional materials of this session will be available under the same link in the description to the video of today's session shortly after the stream is finished. With this, I wish you great interaction and over to you, Natalie. Thanks a lot, Larissa, and hello, everybody from my side as well. As Larissa mentioned, I'm going to present our notification tool in SAP for me, the Cloud Service Availability Notification application, also called Get Notified as a short name. It makes it easy to add, customize, and manage subscriptions to cloud availability notifications. Using this tool, um, our customers can remain constantly informed and receive timely updates regarding their SAP cloud services, including planned and unplanned downtimes and customer communication. So what can you do with this tool? You can set your preferences for which types of notifications you would like to receive for planned and unplanned downtimes. You can also decide that you want to get customer notification, customer on, on the releases and so on, and also uh, manage your existing subscriptions and add new ones. If you're familiar with SAP for me, you might know the systems and provisioning dashboard, and this is where the Get Notified tab is located. And I will show that in a few minutes in a demo, in a live demo. And this is how it looks like on a screenshot. What kind of events uh, do we notify the customers on? We notified on planned events. Um, they are announced in advance and need to happen within the contractual maintenance periods. There are two kinds, maintenance and major upgrade. A major upgrade is an extensive change such as product version. And of course, there are some unplanned events. Um, to be notified, an unplanned event need to um, last at least three minutes. And the initial notification is to be sent within 15 minutes to get the customer informed as soon as possible. We have two kinds of unplanned events, the, dis the disruption and the degradation. Um, in the case of a disruption, the service is unavailable. And this unavailability is perceived by the customer and verified by SAP. In case of a degradation, uh, we have a limited availability. For instance, the performance is not good and doesn't allow the customer to use the, the service as, as they should. It's also perceived by customers and verified by SAP. There is another kind of, of communication we send to customers. Um, we provide general information such as certificate renewals and release updates and so on. On the right side, you see that um, we don't have only different kind of events. We also have different kind of notification. And this is what you can select in SAP for me. Um, you can decide to get customer communication, disruption, degradation, notifications, major upgrade, and maintenance notifications. 
And for all of them, you have different stages or different kind of notification that you can get um, for disruption and degradation. It starts with initial up to final RCA. For major upgrade and maintenance, it starts with an announcement until the event is completed. So this you can get um, different kind of email notifications and it's up to you to, to decide what you want to get. This is set per default when you create a notification, but you can uncheck um, the types that you're not interested in. For whom is this tool? Um, as you know, you need the S user to access SAP for me. And if you have an S user, you can create a subscription for yourself. You need the edit system data authorization that you get from your IT department. If you are a super admin, you can subscribe for yourself, of course, but also for others. You can, sub you can create subscription for contacts that have an S user and contacts that doesn't, don't have an S user. Basically, any customer contact can get notifications as soon as they have a subscription. There's no need of an S user to get subscriptions, to get notifications, but you need a subscription for that. And this subscription um, is created by a super admin if you don't have an S user. We also uh, subscribe, um, automatically subscribe, subscribe contacts um, for new customers and also for customers, existing customers that have a new product. Why do we do that? We want to make sure that um, somebody is notified about downtimes, about maintenance or upgrade um, at the customer. And uh, we subscribe the IT contact from the contract that's our best bet, but we are aware that it's not necessarily the, the, the right person at the time we subscribe because the contract can be um, one or two years old and this person is not anymore the, the relevant person to get the notifications. But as it is a self-service tool, um, we encourage you to use the tool and delete the subscriptions that are not relevant and create new ones for relevant contacts. This is an example of what you get if you have subscribed to notifications. Uh, we feel this is a notification for cloud service degradation and you find um, a lot of information on it. At the top, you see which service it is about then the status, here you see that the issue was identified, there was a status update and the issue resolved. And it also describes the impact of the issue, what, what happened to your system uh, because of this issue, and also the duration, and all the information on the system that was affected. In this case, it's only one system, but it can be more. And you find that um, you find that on the on the email, and each kind of notification as a template, so different uh, template for maintenance for for major upgrade is customized to the to the kind of event and, uh, that happened to your to your system. Now I will uh, go into the system and show a demo. I hope you see SAP for me now. You will find the tool in the Get Notify tab. The Get Notify tab is in the Systems and Provisioning dashboard, and it's right next to the Availability tab because it's directly related to, avail to cloud availability. There are two possible scenarios. You are an S user and you can create subscriptions for yourself in this tab. Or you are a super admin and you can su create subscriptions for yourself and for others. And in this case, you will see the other users tab. Let's start with the S user scenario. You click here on the button Add Subscription on the right and you will see uh, two mandatory filters. The first one is for cloud product. Let's select success factors. And the second one is cloud service. 
within success factors, we have here an our test system, three services, and I will choose Jam Collaboration. You will see a third filter for tenant. It's not mandatory. If you choose a tenant, you will receive notifications only for this tenant. If you leave it empty, you will should receive notifications for all the Jam Collaboration tenants. So I click on Add. And I'm sorry for that. That's a live demo. Should come. Let's just maybe reboot it. We can definitely see your demo. Mm -hmm. Yeah, now it's it's coming up. Okay, so we'll do the exercise again. Success factors, cloud service jam collaboration, and other. Okay, now we are in the um, subscription screen. And you see here that there is a filter for customer. If you override for more than one entity from your company, you will be able to choose between uh, different entities. And that's a mandatory field. And it's uh, per default, it comes with, uh, with the customer your, um, from your S user, your um, um, you came into the system with. Then here you have the different notification types and I had uh, them on my slides also. You see customer communication, disruption, degradation, maintenance and major upgrade. By default, it's all checked, um, but you might decide that you don't want to get customer notification, communication, so you remove them. You also might want to um, avoid receiving too many emails. So you might remove the update emails. Then you save. And you will find your subscription here. You can change it. Let's see, you want to have customer communication, you save it. Or you also might want to delete it. And then it's gone. The second, second case, use case, is for super admin. And here I will go to the other users tab. And as I'm super admin, I can see that my colleagues um, have created subscriptions that I can manage for them. I can change, I can delete, I can create. It's the same place to create, um, to create um, subscription. But here I see a different filter um, at the bottom, and I also choose success factors, and I choose Jam Collaboration. And as I want to subscribe one of my colleagues and somebody who um, maybe doesn't have a S user and cannot do it by themselves, I will choose this colleague and create for him a subscription. And then I save it. Ah, I have to pick a, a customer. As I said, it's a mandatory field. And I can see the subscription here. I can change it and I can delete also the subscription that I created for my colleague. This colleague um, won't be able to come into the tool because they don't have a S user, but they will get the email notification. That's it for the demo. 
I have um, a few more information to show you. Some useful links. Um, that's the link to SAP for me. And I hope you can see it. That's the, the public side of SAP for me. Lisa, just let me know if it's not visible. Um, no, all is good. We can okay. see. We can see it. Okay, thank you. Uh, this is where you can access SAP for me as a customer, and also you can also check our demo, and you have some information about the tool. Then. Our support page for cloud availability. There are different different topics. The cloud availability in SAP for me with all the information and the link. Also the information on our notification tool and the list of supported products. And here that's these are all the cloud services that we have onboarded into SAP for me for availability. And if you see a small one here in the for the legend, it means that we also show the non-production uh, non-production systems um, for availability. It's not for all; it's a, about one third. And you can also subscribe for notifications on this um, on these systems. That's it from my side. Now I guess that's time for questions. Oh, thank, uh, thank you, Natalie. It was a short, crisp, uh, but, uh, straight to the point, I would say. Uh, I can see questions in the chat. Um, uh, so for those who are in the call, uh, please leverage uh, Natalie's availability in this call and bring up the questions. If there will be no questions coming in, you can still um, contact her um, via the contact information that she provides in the presentation. And I will upload the PDF uh, of the presentation today shortly. Uh, so it's visible in the description to this video. So with this, thank you, Natalie, for this uh, short uh, but uh, useful presentation of the service that is available. And uh, yeah, hope to get more information uh, from you and also from other colleagues working in SAP for me. And we will be uh, uh, sharing the information on the upcoming session soon. With this, thank you very much and bye-bye. Thanks a lot from my side. Bye-bye.